folks, and welcome back to Vintage Survival here on the Lunker. So, we've been a little bit busy. We spent a lot of our money from the last episode, and we got to purchase some new but old equipment. So, first of all, we need some money coming in from the bunker silo. So, we're going to get this emptied. But if we have a look, so head over to the deer ship. What I've gone done is I've bought a potato seeder, I bought a pull by behind harvester, and I bought a pickup and attach that to a trader. And because I'm going to do a sugar beet contract, we bought the mini sugar beet harvester. So yeah, that's going to be all done, and we've got some harvesting to do. So we'll do that tomorrow. So you've got 88 to do, and that is red beet. So if we have a look. So yep, red beet. We need to harvest that. Also tomorrow we've got our potatoes to harvest. And I'm just having a look here. Is there any other crops ready to harvest? I know we did most of them last episode. So yeah, we've got 53 and 86. They're going to be two months away. So that is. Wheat and barley, yeah, wheat and barley, so that be ready April. So before we skip to the next day, what we'll be doing is emptying this storage pit. Can't remember how much we got, 107,000 litres or so. Not too bad, and I think we're at the peak price at the moment. So we're going to have a look at silage. We're looking around. 357 at the forage dealership, so you know what? I'm happy with that. Let's get this load up and then sold, and then we'll skip till March. short time lapse there, We've got 40,000 litres and this does require a number two loads, a full load of 48,000 litres and I think one more load of like 12,000 litres or so, so too bad but let's go see how much money we can make and then yeah I'm looking forward to doing the harvesting like Something different, something I've already done before now, in terms of using small, old, vintage equipment. Yeah, it may take a bit of time, I'm sure it will, but... Thankfully, we got nicely, perfectly straight fields. And yeah, with the money, there are some options we can look at, because... I've gone and installed some mods. And yeah... I'm looking at some big tractors in the future, so yeah, something like we've got a few options. We've got a Case PT350, we've got Steigers and that. These are all late 70s, early 80s, so they're a couple of years old, but they're still new. Just some leftover stock from the dealership, so I didn't recall how much that was, so. Also, it was on 8 grand, so 17 grand, so should have another 18, 19 grand coming in into all. Actually, about another 20, but let's go and have a look how much we can make. That is load number 2. And actually, look at how much we're getting 17,262 pounds. 
Let's grab that final load of 11,082 litres, I think it is. And that is load number three, or a little Porsche load, and that is just under four grand, so I think overall, a nice little hole. Let's get some rest, and then we'll reconvene in the morning and start doing the actual harvesting of this episode, because as mentioned before, we've got a lot of harvesting to do, and it's going to take most of March, I think, so it's going to be at crack of dawn, have some breakfast, and then we'll go and go to the fields. And there we go, so we had to wait a couple of hours because we had a bit of rainfall. Hopefully the fields should be dry enough to work on, so let's go and let's go everything detached. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave that door open because that does not look right. So yeah, we've got a wait a minute, why isn't that fully backed in? Ah, that's our wind rower or tether in the way, so get that moves back and that tree will just about fit in. But yeah, so we need to start doing the harvesting. And I have generally no idea how this is gonna go at all. So let's go and just give it a shot. So Yep. Yeah, I was thinking about getting our semi trace hooked up, but by the time we get a dolly down, I don't think we can find a small enough dolly to attach the trailer on. It would have been good. However, let's go and just get a worker. Take over there. I do have some contracts in it. At the moment, I want to focus on our fields first of all, because we need to get those sorted. Yeah, like... Let's give that a little boop. There we go, that is sorted. Because yeah, like something like this. You know, I've seen it on the mod hub for ages now. But take yourself pulling on the ground now a little bit. It's not even lower, it's just... Actually, how does this work, actually? So yeah, I'm guessing it just pulls it down while we lower it at the implement, scoops up whatever, and then just dumps at the back. It's got a couple of wheels on. Ah, I guess it just stirs from the tractor itself, like... How it looked like it was from the implement. And yeah, this is a small implement. And yeah, generally I've got no idea how this is going to go, so I think if we just go and lure this. Okay, it actually helps if you turn it on, so. Let's do that. And oh boy. Five. Wait a minute, we was hitting the bit, the bit there just now. Like, why is it. Why is it saying no fields found? It's like. It was skipping that first bit there. Ah, wait a minute. So it's gonna be one of those where it's actually Yeah, it's like three point linkage is a bit a bit flexy there, so maybe Yeah, I'll just try to figure out like how does this work? Detach, attach it, lower it. Turn it on. Does this not do red beats? I swear it says it does. Yeah, it says there's red beat there, so... Why isn't it... Ah, wait a minute. Is that it? We said to unload. 
Ah, there we go. It was just a bit of a setting thing of we get going. We set it to unknown. So, oops. Actually, it's like down there. So there we go. We are off Lunis. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Let's get that restarted. Yeah, it'll be good to have like an army of these, but especially the, the amount of field we've got. Like, this is a huge field. Oh, wait a minute, why around issues again? See, yeah, it's on. It's been the word. Set to unload in. Oh, God. You know what? Just bear with me a sec here whilst I try to figure this out. Alright, so I've gone and started doing the potatoes and. Yeah, we're having no issues with it, like crime worker or something, like, no issues whatsoever, we're just having issues with, fortunately, we're having issues with the sugar beet, well, the sugar beet, the red beet, so, that's got to be an issue with the mod itself, so, we've got a field there, like, we spent 61 grand on this field to harvest the beets. And now we can't do anything about it. Like, seriously. Like, what is going on? Like, I've got no idea, so I may have to look at some other means of solving our issues here, whether it is getting like, a contractor or someone else to come in. Because I don't know if we can get our hands on any equipment anytime soon. If you know what I mean. In terms with. Yeah, getting the harvesting done because yeah, there's just nothing fits into what the time period we're on at the moment, so to speak. Like absolute buck here. So no idea what we're gonna do about that. But yeah, let's give us a little demonstration on. Yeah, I've have not tested this one so. We're going to be finding this out together, folks. Like, how does this do, like... Okay, I guess it. Like, if we look at... That's the pickup range, so... It's literally... Centre of the cab, so... Basically, in the bonnet, so there's a little... What is it? Pillar ornament, or... Basically, this black line here... We're going to be following that from in cab, so... Problem is, it's going to be with the worker. So yeah, yeah. Let's wait till the worker is on its way back down, and then yeah, we'll sort of have a look. So, but yeah, I think with the whole red beat situation, most likely we're going to have to get a contract to come out. Yeah, just ignore that. We are going to go over a there. He's doing a good job so far of just ripping up those potatoes. Don't go to the other field. Okay, fair enough, just turning around. So, when he's on his way down, let's go and start hard, not hard, let's start picking this up. Alright, I think I've got this hooked up and working properly, so. Actually, if it helps if we lower this, perhaps. Uh, what do we need to do here? Ah, pipe out. Ah, that may help a little bit. Why 
what is going on here? Like, like this should just be working fine. Alright, so not only we're having issues with the harvester, we're having issues with picking up. This should be, in theory, picking this up and then dumping it. But, yeah, there is uh, literally nothing, so... Just unfold it, unfold it, all that. Pipes out, turn it on. Sense it unload here. And should be picking up these potatoes and offloading them, but it is not happening. So, unfortunately, this resorts to. Alrighty then, so it's just after 10 o'clock. I have spent some time. First of all, we can start picking up some of these potatoes and we just put them to a pile for now. And yet, we've gone and bought this fork or bucket for great thing and yeah what we're going to be doing is to just scoop it up and then put it all into the trailer and that's going to be several trips we're going to have to make this and that's just with this remember we've still got the sugar beet contract in that so if you have a look so you've got sugar beet contract to do for 5,300 quid and yeah the coal vein power contracts they're going to take too long, about 10 minutes or so. But, yeah, so I've been on the phone to a neighbour farmer. And what they've gone said is our wind harvest are red beet fields. They do want a, obviously, a payment of it. And that payment is 11 and a half grand they want. So they'll come and harvest it. And they said, yep. Them half a grand, so and I think to be fair on that, eleven and a half grand ain't too bad. And yeah, you see what we're doing at the moment is literally scooping up, and I think for now we'll just pull it here to one big pile. And yeah, to be fair on this, I could just focus on this and get the worker doing the what's it harvesting. But I want to do it like workers done what a third of this quarter to a third. So yeah, we'll just lower it. And there we go. We are harvesting our spuds. Just move over a little bit because we're missing a couple of bits. over to those I forgot so yeah, I've got to set it to unload but yeah overall I am happy so we'll just open the back of this so just keep eye on and yeah things what do you know is put the radio on chill out for a bit and yeah just keep going back and forth and yeah I'll see you folks later on perhaps in the afternoon because, yeah, I want to get his contracts done. So, yeah, I think we harvest this, get it all stacked up, and then do the other contract. The contractor for is going to come in and do our field. They're going to come here about 12 o'clock, they say. So, it could be a couple of hours, so. It ain't too bad. So, yeah, come later on in the afternoon. This should all be done.
go. We are done with the harvesting, and this has certainly been a problematic harvesting period. Just with the issues with the red beans, with the potatoes, and that. But yeah, so also we had the issues with the contract of sugar beet because technically the harvester picks it up and then dumps onto the ground. We able to do that as a contract, so when we had the contractor out, we asked them if they could do the contract fill as well. So yeah, initially we had to pay twelve and a half grand to get to eighty eight done. But to get 32 done, eh, they did require a bit more money, so we'll be paying them £23,000, so I'll make a bank transfer and then I'll get it all transferred over. So yeah, 23 grand that is for the contracting of the contractor coming in and doing our fields for us. Obviously, down the road, I may want to do something different. However, we have been busy, as mentioned, and if you hop into the choo choo, we've got 300,000 years of red beet. And just having a look at the contracts, uh, there is these contracts, but nah, I'm gonna do those. So, potatoes got 144,000 years in storage, along with red beets. I think it was around the 100,000 year mark we had left over. I should have, sorry, 79,000 years. So, uh, this is gonna require two trips, and February slash March is the best time to sell our root crops. So, Actually, we're doing quite good here for money wise, so let's go sell this first loot and then we'll get Tring to come back. We'll have to wait for it to do a pass from Earning Grant, I think it is, it goes to. To come back here, so yeah. Let's go get it sold and see how much money we can make. So, 300,000 a year. Look at the price, about 275. So that is, what, 100 grand? Give or take, 105? But yep, we'll get booted off. 82 grand, so... Math was a touch off. Uh, oops. Didn't mean to do that. But yeah, let's go and call the train again. There we go. So come back or is gonna go around so dang it, it looks just gonna go around so let's wait for the train and then get these ass two loads sold. And there we go, so we've got another hundred and forty four thousand years of potatoes and seventy almost eighty thousand years of red beet so I think you get as much, but at the end of the day, it's just a little bit of income, and then, yep, with this money, we can look at new equipment. There are some good options up there. New land, even though we've got enough. If I think I was thinking of a combine harvester, get a second one in. Even like, stuff like the planters and that, so. That is 117 grand. So we're at 2.40 and yeah, so a couple of bits we're going to sell, the mini beet cutter and the potato planter. So yeah, it's good, we're getting good money from these and they are worthwhile. However, I'm thinking of, yeah, just look at some planters and that. Cedars itself, there ain't really much good options in terms of upgrades. But yeah, I'm thinking the M99, that is brand new, that has just come in. Or we'll go something a bit older, a planter P8. Uh, any real difference is it's slightly 
squash quite a bit smaller. But yeah, that's bigger. So can do fertilizer as well. Yeah, the things do like soybeans and corn and sunflower. Oh, well, actually, they're not so much soybeans, but yeah, sugar beet, corn, and sunflower. Because, yeah, with the harvester situation, there are some good options. There's the John Deere 1175s or the Fort Schwartz E516 series. We well, even take it, go with another Dominator. But the problem is, if we go with corn or sunflower, we're going to need a header, and there ain't really much options out here. I may speak to the dealer, see if we can get something like this attached to our harvester. Whether it's a adapter is needed or what, I don't know, but I'm sure we can figure out something and get something fabricated together. And yep, as I alluded to earlier in the episode, we can get some slider tractors in that. Or Case International ones. I've got some ideas, but I think for now well, that's where we're going to leave it today. So I want to look at into productions and that. Because, yeah, I think in, if you go down the production chain route, something like the flower, flower and that, get a little bit of flour in. And yeah, just get a bit of an extra profit for the farm. Or even start diversifying by getting more animals in, so yeah, at the moment we've got chickens and that, that's good, they're quite profitable. But if we can get some cattle in, whether it's beef or dairy, I'm not too fussed either way. Horses, uh, ain't really too much profit in those. Pigs are hit and a miss at the best of times. And uh, yeah. I'm thinking, if we go down more animals, I'm thinking, yep, cows and sheep. And I think we can get some goats now, get some goats on the farm and that. That'd be goat delicious. But, yeah, something we'll think about in the coming episodes. But for now, it is 6 o'clock and I think it's time to rest, so get these put away and then yeah we'll go to March no sorry April in the next episode and we'll resume from there of where we do need to start get planting done to get the summer crop in or the summer crop ready but so yeah engine off shut the doors and yep yeah, overall I said we're doing good but, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to channel, please consider. But, for to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be for my Evolution stream. And, I'll see you all very soon.